In this video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite passing concepts from the Gun Bunch in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player that they can possibly become. And so if you are looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you right now to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It is completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on my channel. Again, my channel is designed to help you become a better Madden player. And so, like I said, if you're looking to get better at this game, uh, I would just encourage you to subscribe. We put videos up here every single day that are designed to help you get uh, better at this game. Okay guys, so in today's video, what I wanted to do is I wanted to break down just one of my favorite little beaters here. Um, this is just a very, very simple passing concept from the Gun Bunch, but it's very, very effective. And I am going over um, the the uh, let's see here I'm gonna be going over the Z spot passing concept now the Z spot passing concept is something that we've all utilized at some point in the season and I'm gonna be breaking down why it's so effective uh, right here so the first thing that I like to do with this passing concept is actually very very simple to run this but one of the things I wanted to hit on before I ran this passing concept is I wanted to remind you that I actually have a full offensive guide on the gun bunch and so if you want to get my full gun bunch offensive guide it is going to be available in the description you can get my full jets playbook for just 15 bucks so that includes an entire guide on the bunch tight end an entire guide on the bunch and an entire guide on the trip side and offset so three very powerful formations completely broken down uh, for you guys and you can get all of that in the description for just 15 bucks but basically how this play is going to work is we're going to smart route the r1 receiver we are going to streak the x receiver which in this case is going to be the tight end we're going to put that circle receiver on a little five yard little out route and then on this left side you can kind of do whatever you want to do my personal recommendation would be to essentially run a little bit of a slant flat concept here um, or maybe like a little in route you know you can do whatever you want but this is kind of what i was thinking would be very very effective so all we're going to do is we're going to motion that circle receiver to the right, and we're going to kind of snap it right about there. And what you're going to see is that R1 receiver, that corner route, is going to get open against 25-yard zone-dropped curl flats. So what that means is if you're running up against someone who likes to run a lot of cover three uh, Mabel coverage, then you're going to see here I've set up a cover three Mabel. You're going to see that I'm going to have a lot of success being able to just simply run this, uh, this passing concept. So again, you just motion this out. You'll see right here, he's just going to basically run and run and run and run and run, gets over the top of that curl flat, and once he gets over the top, you can easily fit that in with a gunslinger quarterback. So that's kind of the number one reason why this works really, really well. And what I wanted to show you just briefly here is that you're gonna notice that an outside uh, quarter, so for example here, if I, if I reset my zone drops to default, okay, what you're going to see is that because we've motioned out the out route, okay, what's going to happen is that the outside quarter zone on a quarter's coverage is going to basically sit on that out route. It's not going to drop, uh, to drift back to the corner route. That's one of the secrets of the motion out route, okay? It's really one of the key elements of this because let's say that they audible down into quarters, you're gonna see right here, if I just run this play without any motion, What's gonna happen is that that quarter, that outside quarter zone, is basically going to match onto the R1 receiver and either intercept that or you know, basically just you know, kind of knock down the pass. However, what's gonna happen here is if I don't, or uh, if I motion out that circle receiver on that little five yard out route, and I time it so much so that he's kind of like almost setting his feet, you'll see right there just like that, he sits on him, and now I have a great little window to hit that corner route. Let me show you that one more time. I think it's a really underrated little tip here. But basically what's gonna happen is you wanna time this motion snap so that you're snapping the ball right as the circle receiver is kind of you know setting his feet, so kind of right there. And then what you'll see is that that quarter will sit on him and it leaves this wide open passing lane against match coverage. One of the primary reasons that people are going to call match coverage is to stop that specific route. And so when you're able to have something that just does such a good job of being able to just consistently beat it, it's going to definitely frustrate your opponent. And so that is one little, little bitty feature of this play that is super, super valuable. So that's how you deal with match coverage. That's how you deal with zone drop coverage. And now let me talk a little bit about how you deal with man-to-man -man coverage. So man-to-man -man coverage, in my opinion, is going to do the best on the, against this play because 
Occasionally, that R1 receiver is going to get this animation right here, where it's actually kind of tricky to throw it. I mean, right there, I was able to complete it, but you're not always going to beat man-to-man -man coverage just flawlessly on that left side. And that's where this left, or on that right side, and that's where this left side really comes in handy, because now what you have on this left side is you have this nice little slant pattern that's pretty much cons fairly consistent against man-to-man, -man, especially if you're playing in Madden Ultimate Team. If you're playing in Madden Ultimate Team, what you can do is you could put Playmaker on that receiver, and basically what that's going to do is it's going to allow him to be just a little bit more consistent. But as you see right there, consistent read, little inside slant against man-to-man -man coverage. If you don't want that, if you want a little bit more consistency um, as far as against man-to-man, -man, then you could put the running back on a smart routed option route and put that square receiver on his route, and you'll see that that running back route will literally every single time be able to beat that route to the to uh, or that man coverage to the sidelines so that is the z spot play in broad strokes how you can use it against match coverage against zone drops as well as against man coverage if you want to get my complete gun bunch offensive guide you can get my bunch my bunch tight end and my trips tight end so all of the jets playbook you can get that complete comprehensive guide in the description for just 15 bucks i'm going to put a link right down below i'm also going to try to put a link in the comment section so if you want to get that that is how you can do that if you have any questions about the offense or the guides um, or madden in general just text me my cell phone number is 208-218-6900 um, so hit me up let me know and again if you want to get the guide it is in the description for just 15 bucks